Welcome to today's patch rundown. So we got some nice changes here. And um, the first thing I do want to talk about is that they are going to reduce the cost for the master working by a lot. In the early ranks, it doesn't matter that much, but the really expensive ones, rank 9 to 12, are getting reduced by 75% in cost. Even though it states here only rank 12, no, it's also rank 11, 10, and 9 that is being reduced. Um, I think this is a really nice approach because I don't think that gold should be the bottleneck. Materials that you're farming should be the bottleneck to actually get that crafting going. But may reducing the amounts of gold also has one downside because they did implement trading in that season. And the benefit and the effort that you're putting into trading um, will probably decrease. Because if gold is not heavily needed, why would you go and sell those items for gold? No? Then like the value for you gets into like trading one item for another one. No? And then it's way harder to find like a match to actually get um, to actually get it going the trade. And then here's one change that I do not like at all. They have greatly improved the drop rate of scattered prisms. And I actually did enjoy that they were somewhat rare and I had to put like a thought in if, if I use it on a low level item or do I want to wait until I get like a 925 item power weapon before I go double slots in it. Nah? Like I did not use any of that during the leveling process. Nah? And it made me nah, basically like use my resources smart. Even though like looking at that now, it looks like the the drops will be so common that it will not be like a resource anymore. It will just not matter. You will just have it in your inventory and you will just always walk there and use it no matter what. So not a fan of that change. Um, then they did rework the stat comparison. So if you are now tempering, um, let's say cold damage and your item also has cold damage, it will be combined. And I think this is uh, nice for like just showing what you have, but it's not as useful if you are already have your build in the builder prepared and you're just like following your own build that you have created. Um, one interesting thing is they did change the way the Whisper Bounty works regarding killing Hellborn. At the moment, the fastest way to actually do that bounty was not to um, get your meter up, spawn the Hellborn and kill them three times. It was actually to go and kill Blood Maiden because she was spawning four Hellborn as adds, adds, which also counted into completing this Whisper. And this is not possible anymore. So those monsters that Blood Maiden spawns do not count anymore. You do have to actually get the meter up and kill your own Hellborn there to get that one. It's like not um, a big change. It's neither negative or positive. Just so you know that you cannot rush Blood Maiden to finish that Whisper anymore. Then um, let's scroll down because there's still one thing that um, I wanted to show you. And um, this is all the fixes they did regarding Helltide. Um, how to say it? Like, if you sum it up, they have addressed, like, some things, but they did not address, like, the main issue that is currently going on with Helltide. And this is um, trying to get as many of your friends in the same instance and then, like, like spam running um, Helltide and benefiting from the, the spawns and stuff from your friends. You can stack that up to almost 12 players and like you would farm held tight like three to four times more effective than someone that would just do it solo. And I really hope that in the next patch they are going to fix that. Then regarding the pit, when I was checking, I was really hoping to see something about the uh, Stagion Stones um, drop rate being buffed because at the moment it is really low and I feel like I get all the materials from the other bosses but then I'm stuck in the pit farming like for over and over and over sometimes over one hour for not getting a single stone and um, I cannot farm the 200 level Duriel 
a lot. It's it like, I don't know, like, I don't need the pit materials, I'm only farming it for the stone and I actually want to run boss dungeons and it's not possible. So I also hope that they are addressing that in the next um, patch there. And then regarding the skills and classes, I think the most interesting one to talk about here is actually that they fixed the shenanigans with Rabbit Fire and Scoundrel's Kiss. For the people that don't know, with that combination it was actually possible to kill almost anything off screen. It made um, bushing really, really easy and I'm glad this is being taken down. Even though I don't think there's going to be like consequences for people um, using it, no? it was not like like they used like a um, how to say it? like it like an exploit or something. It was just like given they did not have to do anything besides equipping the item, so it wouldn't be fair. And then um, one thing in the end um, here, this is important. Fixed an issue where killing Echo of Lilith did not reward your resplendent spark. Because for me this was actually happening. I went there, I killed her and I didn't get it. So I'm curious that if I'm logging back in, do I have my spark or do I have to kill her again to get the spark? So we will see. I hope this patch rundown was interesting for you. I will be doing them now every time there's a new patch coming up or a hotfix to keep you informed. Cheers guys. Thank you.